GVFR Panel V2 is a smart facial recognition access reader with a 7-inch touchscreen, supporting multi-factor authentication and seamless integration. In this video, we'll take a closer look at its key features. When powering on the GVFR panel for the first time, users are prompted to set an administrator login password. Once configured, the live view from the built-in camera will appear on screen. After registering and recognizing faces, a confirmation overlay will be shown on top of the live camera feed. To enroll a face directly on the GVFR panel, go to the system settings and select Local Enroll Mode. Follow the on-screen steps. First, fill in the required user information. Then, take a photo while following the do's and don'ts guidelines. Review the image and retake it if necessary. Once everything looks good, confirm the details and click Enroll to complete the process. After logging in to the GVFR panel web interface, go to the Face Profiles page to create a face profile for access control. Click New Face, enter a name, and upload up to three face images. Then click Apply to complete the registration. You can download GV Face Manager from the GeoVision website. It's a helpful utility for managing the face database of the GVFR panel. After logging in, click Add Host, then enter the IP address, port number, login ID, and password, and assign a host name for the GVFR panel. Once the connection is established, you can use Face Manager to create face profiles, synchronize, and back up the face database. Open the GV Face mobile app and go to Host Management, then select a connected GVFR panel. Under the Members section, you can create a new face ID by entering a name, selecting a group, and optionally adding notes, a card number, and Wigan type. Capture a photo with your phone or choose one from your photo library. Tap Save to complete the registration. GVFR Panel V2 supports liveness detection to prevent spoofing. By enabling the fake slash spoofed option in the recognition settings, the system can detect whether the presented face is a real person or just an image displayed on a digital device, enhancing security during authentication. GVFR Panel V2 supports masked face recognition. By enabling the mask detection prompt in the system settings, the device will detect when a person is not wearing a mask and respond with a voice alert saying please wear a mask or display a warning message, helping enforce health and safety protocols. Administrators can remotely query event logs from the GVFR panel over the network. Use event query to filter by time, group, name, or card number. The results show the live snapshot, enrolled face image, and key details for easy access review. Users can export event logs from the detail log page by clicking the CSV button after a query, then download the file from the exported files page. To connect GVFR panel and GVAS controller to GVAS manager, First, add the GVAS controller. In GVAS Manager, click Setup Devices. Then click Add and enter the controller's ID, name, and model. Make sure the ID matches the controller's setting. Under Network Settings, select TCP IP, then enter the controller's IP, port, default 4000, login, password, and SIPTO key. You can also use Search to find controllers on the LAN. Click OK. A connection icon in device view confirms success. The next step is to link the GVFR panel as a door reader. In GVAS Manager, go to Setup, Devices, and double-click the controller you want to configure. Choose a door, then from the Entrance or Exit drop-down, select GVFR panel depending on your installation layout. Enter the IP address, port number, account ID, and password of the GVFR panel. Then click OK. The panel will now be successfully connected to both the controller and GVAS manager. 
On the GVFWC slash controller setting page, you'll see an entry showing the controller's IP and connected door from GVAS Manager. Once you have set up the connections among GVFR panel, GVAS controller and GVAS Manager software, you can begin to create and manage users on GVAS Manager and GVFR panel. Click on the image column in the image selection window, add to browse for a face photo from the PC. After the photo has been added, select an access card number for the user within the drop-down list next to the face photo. Click OK to apply the settings. The face photo is now paired with the user and access card. In GVAS Manager, open setup feature access. Select GVFR panel, choose a door and user, then click add. A green check mark confirms upload. Close the window to finish. In default mode, access is granted when a face matches a registered user with a confirmation on the panel and an access granted message in GVAS Manager. To access local settings, tap the GeoVision logo on the top left of the touchscreen and enter your password. In system settings, off mode, select card or face to allow access with either a paired card or face recognition. From the GVFR panel's local settings, tap the GeoVision logo on the top left of the touchscreen and enter your password. In system settings off mode, select card and face. This mode only allows users to gain access when both the user's card and face have been authenticated. In order to be granted access, the personnel accessing must first swipe a paired card and then perform face recognition on the GVFR panel. Once both have been authenticated, a confirmation screen will appear with an access signal being passed to the controller. After connecting GVFR panel to GVVMS or GVEdge Recording Manager, enable streaming in the local settings to display its live view. You can also adjust the streaming quality if needed. To add a host, open the host list and click Add Add Host, then select the device type. In the Host Settings dialog, enter the host name, IP address, login ID, and password. Adjust the communication port if needed. Click Update Information to check the connected cameras, then click OK to complete the setup. The host will appear in the host list. Once added, users can drag and drop cameras from the host list onto the live view window for live display. To add IP devices in GVVMS, go to Home, Toolbar, Configure, Camera Install. Click Add Camera, then enter the device's IP address, username, and password. Select Auto Detect for brand and device, adjust the required settings, and click Apply to add the camera. To connect it, check the box next to its ID. A green status icon confirms success. Once connected, you can drag and drop the camera onto the Live View window for real-time monitoring. GVFR panel can send access data to third-party controllers via Wiegand or the GVFWC converter. You can connect the GVFR panel to a third-party controller using its Wiegand interface, as shown here. If no response, add 3.3 or 4.7K Omega resistors between D0 and 12V and D1 and 12V. Set Wiegand as the event trigger output to send card data on recognition. GVFR panel can send access data to third-party systems via the GVFWC converter. On the GVFR panel web interface, go to Notify Settings, GVFWC slash controller and add a new GVFWC. Enter its name, IP address, enable activation, and assign a 12-digit virtual MAC for connection. Click Apply to complete. On the GVFWC web interface, set GVFR panel's MAC and Wiegand output on GVFWC, then submit.